what's up uh welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome uh today's video is going to be well i'm gonna try and make this as short as possible because to be honest i don't have that much time and my son is taking a nap right now my daughter is having a snack this is the only quiet time i've had today so i'm gonna try and make the most of it and get this video done as quickly as i can Go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading a lot more videos. Um, and if you do love this video at the end, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You know, that helps with my channel. And comment down below whatever you feel. I always read the comments. So if you feel like leaving something nice, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, today what I'm going to be doing is trying some DIY lash extensions at home. I have never been a individual lash kind of girl i always wear strip lashes but and that's only when i'm doing like a full glam makeup but it is part of one of my 2023 goals to simplify my self-care routine and i really want to have that high maintenance appearance but at the same time i want it to be simple and easy and basically i just want to wake up and look my best you know without having to do too much on a daily basis so I decided to try some lash extensions I don't have the budget to go out and get it done professionally I do have the V Lux at home DIY lash extension kit that I will be trying out today this is a kiss brand by I envy um, I am an I envy ambassador I get a ton of products from them on a regular um, today I will be trying these out. Hopefully they look as good as the tutorials that I've been seeing all over TikTok and Instagram. And I'm also hoping that they last up to two weeks like it says on the packaging. So I will show you all the packaging up close what the lashes look like. And on the back it does have the instructions on how to do the lashes yourself. I'm going to thoroughly read these instructions because I, I don't want to miss no steps. I want to make sure I get this right. Uh, okay, so we have a fresh battery. And I am going to I'll go ahead and open up this packaging. Here it comes with a little lash applicator. Wand thing, whatever you call those. And hopefully you can see that, that the lashes are individual and they are cut up into little sections. And I also have my um, magnifying mirror just to make this easier. Now the instructions say to brush on a light coat of bond on the natural lashes. That would be the gold end of the little thing, thing that comes in here. Then apply the lashes where? Are we applying them under or over? Underneath. So the lashes, the falsies are going to be applied underneath our natural lash. Okay. And then seal it with the gray side. I mean the silver side. That's it. That sounds pretty easy. And then that, if you want to remove it, it just comes off with makeup remover. Okay. Okay, now this sounds easy, so hopefully I can do this without messing up. Let's see. And then this overnighter extender, let's see what this is for. Okay, so after doing the individual lashes, you apply this to the base of the falsies to get them to last longer. Okay, we got this. All right, so I am going to take this. Yo, I hope I do this right. <laughs> oh, my lashes don't get messed up. All right, so the bond is first. Why did I go? Okay, the bond is first. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of my lashes. I'm gonna start with the right. Maybe I should zoom in so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Is this is this close enough? Do we need to come closer? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's a little too close. Hold on. There we go. All right. I like this little applicator. This would be great for mascara. It's getting every lash. I'm 
now the instructions didn't say whether or not I should work on one section at a time. I am going to zoom in and just focus on this one eye. It didn't say if I should focus on one section at a time or do the whole eye. So hopefully this turns out okay. All right, so we got that on there. I feel like I have to move quickly because this is, it feels really sticky. <laughs> this comes off. <laughs> okay. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to start with the outer corner, the longest ones. Ah, right, sticking to my bottom lashes. I done wait wait no I forgot the last step now I have to seal it with the silver side um that looks weird I don't I don't know if I did that right So I think I did that right. This eye is done. All right, so here is my the left side, my natural lash. Yeah, and here is the DIY lash extensions. I actually like this a lot. I don't know. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but like when I look in the mirror. It actually looks really good the only thing I don't like and this is just me personally the inner piece the last inner piece is a little bit too long and I think that's just because of the way that my eyes are shaped I'm not really feeling that or it could have been probably could have put it a little bit closer to my waterline but I'm not completely mad at it so that took me a while what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish the other eye on camera then I'm going to come back and show you what they both look like. Okay, I'm back. So I did both sides. You can see. Um, now I'm going to apply the extender, extended overnighter. Hold on. Okay. Cause it says overnight and I was like, am I supposed to use this at night? But it doesn't say anything about that in, in the instructions. So I'm going to apply the overnighter, the extended overnighter um, at the, the base of the lashes like it says, mirror. Whoa, this is a different applicator. So the other one has brushes on it. This is like a little brush brush. They're both brushes, so that didn't make sense. The other one has a wand. This is a brush. So, hold on, let me read the instructions again. Okay, so it says to apply a thin line of the overnighter under the cluster, so under the lashes, close to but slightly away from the cluster bonds. Uh, I'm gonna do my best interpretation of whatever that means. I think I did that right. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay. 
That's done. I feel like it needs to dry because I can feel it. Getting on my bottom lash a little bit before I get it on my fingers. So let me let that dry for a second. Okay, so the lashes are pretty much dry now. The bond and the sealant didn't take long to dry, like it wasn't wet or anything. But that overnighter, the extended overnighter, is like really wet. It feels like a lash glue, honestly. So that's a minute to dry, but it's it's pretty dry now. It's a little tacky. It may take like another five minutes, but this is. This is pretty much it. And I don't know about you, but I'm loving it. Like, this is cute. Like, I cannot stop looking at myself. Now, the real test will be how long this stuff actually lasts. Because it says it lasts up to two weeks. Now, I usually take my lashes off at the end of the day. But these these I'll be leaving on so we shall see about that but anyway that is the end of this video because now I have to go cook but if you want to stay updated on these lashes and see if they actually last I will be doing some updates on my Instagram so yeah, if you want to uh, stay updated and see how long these lashes last uh, check out my Instagram because I'll be leaving updates uh, you can also check out, my check out my TikTok. I don't know if I'm going to post anything on my TikTok, but it's possible. So you can follow me on there too. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys want to check out this DIY lash extension kit, I will leave the link to them in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.